What's up y'all, it's your boy Journey. Back at you with another video, and today we have an 100K wager versus FNB Most Wanted, or some people know him as Ish in the Madden community. He uh, he was in, he was like the final four of the Steelers Club Series in 2007, but he's really good. Nothing, you know, you can't just play around with him and just win. You gotta be locked in. And yeah, he's one of the better players this year, or you know, I'd say like top 20, top 30 player. And yeah, so we're gonna start it off with the drive. We're gonna dot him up first play, dot him up second play. We're gonna run the ball right here, but we're just gonna end up taking three. That was a bad call, starting three. I was like, I'm already in field goal range. I don't wanna get myself out of field goal range. So I was like, let me play this safe. Let me take three, and maybe I get a first down. But I don't think that was the real, I don't think that was a good call. First play on his drive, he throws it to Will Ty. Literally like 60 yards the first play. Terrible start for my defense. And then second play of the game for him. Second play on the offensive side for him, he scores. So he only it only took him two plays to get 70 yards. That's just lackluster defense. And right here, we're already on the third and ten in our second drive. And look at Vic. Look at Vic. I don't know why people don't use Vic. I'm going to be real. That was the worst pass, worst route combo, worst everything in one play. And I still got 70 not 70, like, I, I, I still got like 50 yards off that <laughs> because Vic is so good. I don't know. I, I really don't get how people don't use Vic, but that's beyond me right there. Look at Vic showing his wheels as well, getting to the five-yard line. And we're already on the one-yard line in second goal. Third and goal, we're on the one-yard line, and we don't get it again. And then fourth and goal, I'm like, forget it. We're going to do it again, and we don't get it. Three fullback dives. All of them fail. And I am just absolutely sick right now because that was a really good, that, that was, I mean, like, you know, EA kind of blessed me with that little pass from Vic. And, you know, I want to get points off that. So I'm pretty sick that I didn't get points off that. But all we can do right here is just try to play defense and get the ball back and try to get three or seven. And that's what we do. We play defense and we get that stop, forcing him a punt, almost blocking the punt. And Odell Beckham in open field. What is he going to do? Nothing's there. Just got tackled on the 44. So we're driving, we're driving, throw the corner out to Evan Ingram, wide open dot to the 15 yard line, 19 yard line now, I think we had a holding penalty, nothing's open, we get sacked, and what I do is like, instead of trying to force my hand and, you know, just force the situation, I literally let the clock tick tock, whatever you call it, let, let the clock tick, and get the three seconds and just kick the field goal making it a one point game giving him the ball a half with one point so we have to you know we have to have a defensive stand here if he goes up 14-6 we're gonna be in a really really bad spot especially if he you know choose to sit, choose the clock and right here look at this we leave the post route wide open lets him get to my territory like the 35 lets him get to the 35 34 in one play, like, we, I just got to stop letting up the big plays and let him, like, just make him drive because that's my big problem right now. I'm letting up big plays a little bit too much, let him drive, and that's usually how I play defense. I usually let people drive, and they'll make a mistake sooner or later, but right now I'm just letting him have the big plays and just not doing me, you know, doing me justice. So right here, we're getting really wild on defense. We let up, we, we, he throws it up on a one-on-one, -on -one and I need Slay to make an interception right now. I need Lattimore, whoever that was, I need Lattimore to make a play right there. And right here, a really good route combo. Comeback route, flat route, and a streak. Perfect, perfect, perfect situational full, but football. And next play, I can't say the same about him. Look at this. He gives me a shot at the game. If he scored a touchdown right there, I'd have been a terrible spot, but right now I'm loving where I'm at. But, you know, he's playing really good defense. Forcing me on a fourth and 13 right now. He sent five. The slant's wide open from the tight end, but I see a streak wide open, and I need Vic to make that throw. Oh, I need Vic to make that throw. And what the worst thing about that is, next play, he scores on an aggressive catch by Randy Moss. Going up 14-6. Down eight with only basically one quarter to go, so we need to lock in second and 12. Getting around eight yards, making it a third and four. Let's see what we do here. So we're gonna no huddle. He pinches his line. I don't know why. You, it's hard to get pressure if you pinch line. And right there, we throw the corner route, possession catch. He almost knocked it loose, but he didn't. So third and seven. 
He runs flat out, man. No one gets separation except this little streak. A little bit of separation, but Vic does not get the ball on the money. Fourth and seven. He plays all out, man, again. Nothing is open. Nothing's open. So I got to roll out with Michael Vick. And I see X wide open. Tyreek Hill getting to the 10-yard line. Come on. All we need is one touchdown to tie the game up. But we're on a third and goal right here. Nothing is open. We try to high ball the tight end. And he does not come down with it. Basically making it a 9-14 game. Kicking it off. We're going to be kicking it off. Hopefully nothing dumb happens here. And, you know, we just got to lock up, get the ball back, score a touchdown, then lock up again. Probably, right? So that, that sounds easy, right? So, you know, all we need to do is get the first step done. We need to lock up. So it's second and nine already. We're blitzing everybody. And I use it the free safety, which is super wild. And look at that. Boom. Easy, easy deflection by our outside cornerback. Nothing open right here. Nothing open. We send the spy. Nothing's open. Come on. He throws it to that little... That little bounce back route from the sideline, and he did not throw it accurately right there. He gets sacked. Let's go, man. Bad pocket presence. He just runs out the pocket and lets my guy get him. And right there, Mike Fake overthrows the streak to get the lead. Uh, second and 12. He sends two people. That's not enough. So I'm going to scramble out with Vic. The spy is not going to catch up to Vic. Vic's way too fast for him. And he gets the. He doesn't get the first, I believe. He gets a, a third and one. And I see Odell Beckham in the back of the end zone. And I high ball to him. An aggressive catch. As you can see, I showed some emotion right there. I was happy. I, we just need the second two-point conversion, though. And Tevin Coleman, one cut to the end zone. Going up three. One minute and 59 seconds left. We've been locking up all second half. We can do it one more time. Come on. So we're going to kick it off. Tyreek Hill going to the 30. Spin move to the 40. To the 50. To the... Oh, whew. Let's go, man. That 10 cap literally made a life-saving tackle right there. If I if he didn't get that, I probably lost 100k like right there and then, because I would have been I would have been in a bad spot. I'd been emotionally like messed up. But right here, I see he's gonna go for that streak, and I come out of nowhere and I try to pick it off. No, that would have been the sickest pick I've had in a while, seeing that streak wide open. But nonetheless, we play defense, and we're it's a third and 13 already. Come on. As you can see, I cross man X all the way out, man. I make sure that he's not getting open. That's all. So right there, nothing is open. I send the cloud flat. Want him to make a decision quicker than possible. And then I use her, the person he wanted to throw to. And it was a sack. Fourth and 20. We sent everybody. The core route is wide open. He throws it too late. And Randy Moss does not get his feet in bounds. So now we're going to try to take his timeouts. Try to get a first down. And make this game easy for us. So we're going to run the ball again. Take another timeout. He has one timeout le left. Third and five. What do we do right here? We're going to try to pass. We're going to try to run. Let's see what we do. So we're going trail. Okay. We have a comeback. Drag. Hitch. And we throw a post route and he lurks it giving him a shot with one time out oh man bad 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 that's bad by me but right here he throws it to the little crossing route from vertical and he catches it with randy moss getting out of bounds this is terrible by us we're not playing clutch right now come on so running back on the streak i see the running back on the streak i say here let him throw it so darius big play slay can make a play on it that is g g's Hopefully you guys enjoyed the 100k wager me versus ish. That was a hell game sweaty I had a lock in the whole entire game, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm out though. Peace